take a moment to read the question so we have to find out the sum of the first 50 terms of this series how do we do this question well first of all let us write down the terms of this series let us closely look at the terms so we have 3 7 13 21 31 43 and so on now these numbers clearly do not form an AP so let us look at the first differences we get 4 6 8 10 12 let us also look at the second differences so we find that they are all 2 which is a constant Therefore, the nth term of this series can be written down in this form. So Tn is equal to A times n squared plus Bn plus C. We have to now find out the values of A, B and C. So let's put n equal to 1. That gives us the first term. But the first term is equal to 3. So we get this equation. Let us now put n equal to 2 to get the second term, but the second term is 7, so we get this. Let us now put n equal to 3, so we get this equation, but then the third term is 13, so we can write it down like this. So we now have 3 equations and 3 variables, so we can solve for the values of a, b and c. So subtracting the second equation minus the first equation, we get this. And also the third equation minus the second equation gives us this equation. Once again, subtracting these two equations, we find that 2a is equal to 2, which means a is equal to 1. We can now find the value of b. So b turns out to be equal to 1. And therefore, C can also be found. C also turns out to be equal to 1. And therefore, the nth term of this series can be written as n squared plus n plus 1. So this is the formula for the nth term of this series. We can now find out the formula for Sn. So Sn would be given by sigma n squared plus sigma n plus sigma 1. Now we do have formula for sigma n squared and sigma n. So let's use those formulae. So this is the first term and this one is the formula for sigma n. Sigma 1 would be just equal to n. So we get this. Now to find out the sum of the first 50 terms, we put n equal to 50 and we get s50 is equal to this term plus this, plus this. So from these three terms, we can factor out 50 and write it down in this form. Now the number inside the brackets can be simplified and it turns out to be equal to 885 and therefore the overall sum is 50 times 885. So the correct answer is option D.